the classrooms of Yumutu Junior High School stand empty. For years, more students have left here than enrolled. After seven decades of operating, the small village school in Japan's Fukushima prefecture is preparing to close its doors for good. When I first heard from the principal that the school was closing down, it was sad. But I also thought it was such a waste to close a school with a long history like this one. It's a nationwide phenomenon. The government says 9,000 schools have shut down between 2002 and 2020, as birth rates continue to decline. The cost of education, childcare, and the child-raising burden on women are cited as some of the main causes. Last year, annual birth dropped below 800,000 for the first time, eight years earlier than projected. This is here from the period when the school had the most pupils. There were about 160 of them. Awawi and Ita are the last two students who will ever graduate from this school. I don't know if there will be any children left in the village by the time I'm a nursery school teacher. But if there are, I want to come back and teach here. The government has prioritized boosting birth rates, promising to double the budget for child-related policies and programs. For this small village, it may already be too late. The question remains whether Japan as a whole still has time to reverse its demographic decline. Lina Abu Akleh, Al Jazeera.